All right, part two, sketch plane cube. I'm going to click start 2D sketch. I'm going to click on this side over here. And that tells Autodesk that I want to draw on this face of the object. I would like to draw a square. So I'm going to click rectangle. I'm going to select the two point center. And just like I did with the circle, I need to find the middle. So I'm going to put my cursor on that top line, and it hi Autodesk highlights it for us. It makes it white, and basically that tells us it's important. We're going to use it to make our drawing. Go to the right side, and it highlights it. And then as I move my cursor, Autodesk will show me where that center of those two important lines are. So I click, I drag, and then I let go, and I simply type 1, tab, 1, enter. I finish my sketch, and then I'm going to extrude that shape. Since it's the only shape I drew, Autodesk knows that that's what I want to extrude. If I had drawn like three or four squares on this side, I would have had to select them individually to extrude them, but since it was the only shape that I drew, then it kind of makes the assumption that I want to extrude that one shape. So 0.5, finish that, and now I'm going to make the hole. So start 2D sketch, click on this face. This side of our object is nice because it has the center point already marked for us. So, so to make a hole, we're simply going to click on point we're going to place a dot right in the middle. So left click, and that is all you have to do. You're going to come up here and finish sketch, and then you're ready to turn that point that you just made into a hole. So instead of an extrusion, we're going to use the hole tool. So click hole, and we want that hole to be one inch wide. This measurement right here shows you the size of the hole. So we're going to highlight it, and we're going to change it to a number one. There's a bunch of other whole options that they offer, but I'm simply asking you to make a one inch hole. Click OK. And you now have a one inch hole on your sketch plane cube. We may now put the circle peg that goes into the object and the square peg that goes into the object. Very similar. To these right here so I won't spend a lot of time on it I'm just going to start 2d sketch I'm going to use the view cube to rotate so if I simply click on that corner there it'll rotate around for me let go one tab one enter finish sketch Click Extrude. Now here's, here's where we change it up a bit. Since we had build, been building off of the object with that one and the other one, we're going to build into the object. So instead of a join, we're going to change it to a cut. And that's what will take it back inside of the object. So instead of coming off the surface, it's now going into the surface. Click OK. Start 2D sketch. Use my view cube over here to get a good look at the bottom. Click on that surface. Use the circle tool. Find the center. Click, drag, let go, one, enter. Finish sketch. Extrude. Change it to a cut. And there we go. That is our sketch plane cube. If you would like to change the color of your sketch plane cube, simply left click on anything over here in your browser. This, er this area right here is the history of your object. So started with our square that we extruded, our peg, our square peg, our hole, our extrusion that goes in, our other extrusion that goes in. 
So if you left click on one of these, and then up here in this drop down, there are a bunch of different colors. So you can change the colors of your object by left clicking in the browser and then coming up here and selecting a color that you prefer. And that's a very nice way to make your object uh, more visually appealing. Thank you for watching and good luck making your sketch plane cube.